Are you ready to pray? We're going to take a few minutes and please give your destiny an undivided attention as you pray. Do not allow the devil distract you. Forget about whatever bills, whatever issues and let us join in prayer. The fervent, effectual prayer. There is such a description to prayer as fervent and effectual of the righteous man availed much. Are you ready to pray? Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever position you find comfortable, just make sure you pray. Just make sure you pray. Shalima Rasko Branda Katapratike de Belekatosia. Shapakato Sata Brandeke de Balakosia Tabalandasia. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Mante Kaparatas Katebrateke Lekatosia Tabahashia. Zapras kateras kadabalanta barantes kadebaliata. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Alanda salakata preskati la kaparias. Pray, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, and defieth himself, and defieth himself. Shana makata paratas kata brenda ke parato shiata. Ebrakosh kati la parianda preske di balasia tabakatosh. Shimanakatabaria <laughs> Like a bros, like a brandos, cotomate, cochiga de Belagada. Shibania, Shabarata, Catabranda, Gadabala, Catosia. Imbricate parus, Catilla, Caparus, Setega de Belagatos. Shana Melagata, Patos, Catabranda, Cataparo, Catasacate. Imbracatos, Cotoprotos, Cotele, Catabranda, Gadabala, Catos. Shemanda kata prosko to palika prada da kapalia da balagatos. Shade baka haratos kati bande prada gade balagatos. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen carefully, please. We are praying now. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, Jesus was teaching and he made a very profound statement. He called Satan the thief. He says, The thief cometh not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Are we together? So he reveals to us that Satan can steal, Satan can kill, and Satan can destroy. Now let me connect it to a mystery and then we'll pray. In Matthew chapter 21, please, give us verse 13. Matthew 21 and verse 13. This was when Jesus came into the temple. When he came into the temple, the Bible says he met people doing business within the temple is that true they were exchanging in the temple and he was angry and the bible says he began to whip them there were a few people there called money changers their job was to exchange you would bring something and they would exchange all that was happening in the temple so when jesus came 
he threw everything down and he made a statement that will be our prayer point now he said my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves listen carefully do you know what he's saying he's saying at every point his house is one of two things either a house of prayer or a place where thieves are carrying out exchanges and that house is you you that temple of the holy ghost he said at every point in your life you are either a house of prayer or there are exchanges going through in your life my house shall be called a house a temple of prayer failure to be a temple of prayer it was lack of prayer in the temple that gave access for exchangers exchangers of destiny exchangers of all kinds of things is someone ready to pray i'd like you to pray and find that house back to a place of prayer my house this temple is a house of prayer that means the ministry of the thief should not find expression in my house the ministry of sickness and infirmity should not find expression in me because this house is a house of prayer pray pray let it be from the depth of your heart my house shall be called a house of prayer satan you have no authority to steal from this house to kill from this house to destroy this house because it is a house of prayer hallelujah hallelujah listen i want you to believe in this prayer that you are praying you are not wasting your time something is happening to you acts chapter 28 acts chapter 28 in jesus name now please listen let me establish another prayer point in acts chapter 28 when you read from verse 1 and down to 6 the bible says when paul had escaped the storm remember an angel appeared to him and he told them there shall be no loss and the bible says they went safely and arrived at an island called melita now verse 2 28 verse 2 the bible says when the locals he calls them the barbarians the people showed them kindness watch this now paul was about to reveal something that the people did not have the discernment to see the bible says there was a viper hiding in the wood a viper a venomous snake that could it it could it could bite you and even kill you how did it hide that those who brought down the wood did not see it and they put everything together and while they sat down there as soon as the wood was on fire the viper that was hiding there suddenly became exposed if fire was not there the viper will still hide in the wood and you will not know that you are living with an enemy but as soon as fire was lit the fire exposed the viper listen can i tell you i know this about the prayer ministry there are things that you may never understand occurrences and happenings of demon spirit it takes generating energy in the spirit and suddenly you will begin to see that the things you could not understand are now making sense what, what, why, why am I receiving all these assaults from the place of work what is this when my promotion is coming in the place of prayer 
fire can expose the viper fire can expose the viper lift your voice and pray pray with this understanding that everything that attempts to impede the purposes of God in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost the fire that comes in this prayer Shatika Paratos Kotu Paratasiata Shapra Katos Katila Kaparianda Katosiata The fire expose the viper the fire expose the cause of your pain the fire expose the cause of the delays the fire expose the cause of the disfavor the fire expose the cause of the antagonisms Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Shabra katos koto pretegata. Lekata praska te shakata berekotos. Imbrekatos. Eka shakata beretos keniata kasa. Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus is God helping us Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43 Jesus taught us a very deep mystery Jesus was teaching on the activity of spirits and he said when an unclean spirit listen carefully is gone out of a man that it walketh through dry places seeking rest and finding none next verse the bible says then it will say i will return to what the man is free but as far as the spirit is concerned it is his house and he says i will return to my house from whence i came out and when he is come he will find it empty he will find it swept he will find it garnished last verse the bible says he goeth and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they will enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than let me explain something to you listen it takes a man anointed by God with spiritual understanding to cast out a demon out of another do we agree on that and then the Bible tells us something serious that that spirit goes to the desert and when it goes to the desert where there is no man to cast it by itself there is a condition in the desert that makes that spirit uncomfortable and it will prefer to come back and fight with that man a desert is a place of extreme heat and that when that spirit goes to that place in the presence of that extreme heat the spirit by itself with no one to cast it becomes uncomfortable that means when your body becomes like that desert when your life becomes like that desert that the spirit becomes uncomfortable because the desert is a place of heat the bible says he maketh his ministers his angels can i tell you this listen you don't know how cheap satan is until you pray satan is as powerful as your prayerlessness makes him become that a spirit in a human body 
will require a man anointed by the Holy Ghost to get it out but it goes to a desert where there's no preacher no keyboard no drums no choir no protocol the heat in the desert will cast it back and it will come to stay in someone else that means when you become in the similitude of the heat of that desert your life and everything around you becomes a no-go zone for any operation of demon spirits is someone ready to pray you are praying with this understanding that i am praying to become in experience a flame of fire lift your voice and pray a flame of fire a flame of fire a flame of fire Saneka paroto sotokoto mariata a flame of fire A flame of fire. don't be tired make sure you're praying he pratos koto prakete pratos kate prende katele kotisia hallelujah in jesus name first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 very powerful scripture first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 Is it projected? Can you see it? Can we read it together? One, two, read. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Hold on. Wherefore, your favor would have arrived since. Wherefore, your lifting. Wherefore, your destiny helper would have arrived he said i tried once and again but satan listen i understand this scripture very very well let me tell you a story and then we'll pray sir i don't know how many years now i was praying one night true story and then my my ceiling suddenly disappeared in that vision and then i'm seeing this creature and it is looking at me having eyes that are as big as a human head i'm not exaggerating it looked like a dinosaur and it was looking at me red eyes and then it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it and it would still be alive and he was looking at me with fierce anger and he made a statement he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was a statement but satan hindered us you will you will be amazed to know how many things would have been easy for you but satan hindered us now listen let me tell you this even though it happened with jesus i want to explain something to you <laughs> the centurion in one of the synoptic accounts pleaded with jesus to come and rescue their child from dying remember that story while jesus was on his way going another woman interrupted him and said please i have an issue of blood and he focused and was dealing with her issue by the time he was done in one of the synoptic accounts they said this other person had died timing matters in destiny 
hear me it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins if the bridegroom came early all the ten they were all virgins the delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five they all started well but the bridegroom was late I want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance I desire to come to you once and again only God knows how many things in Abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you they have tried they tried in 2019 they tried in 2020 lift your voice and pray with understanding I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb Paros Kates Kote Mashata. Open doors that should have come. Lift things that should have come. Answers to prayer that should have come. Alike Parus Kate Brenta Katoska Diabos. Ebrekete kotos koto brete ketele katos Shame skonde brandi katos kiata Shade brandi geti bash The Becato Proscoto Maria Tabad and Doshane, Ebrecato Scotto Prato Scotto Prendecatepa, Ebracato Sobroso Sicatelecot, Macata Brandega Perusiata, Ecreto Scotto Soto Pretecatebaratos. soon round up you will marvel and wonder the results you will get from this prayer believe me now listen once upon a time in Bible days there was a criminal called Barabbas listen carefully many of you will be surprised the reason and the explanation for disfavor around your life there was a criminal called Barabbas who had been troubling the people and they apprehended him and, and kept him and then one time when they caught Jesus also listen to me Pontius Pilate brought Jesus to stand and brought Barabbas to stand and they asked the people who do you want to be crucified and who should be released there was a spirit that came upon the people and they looked at Jesus and said this is the one to crucify and release the criminal how do you in your right mind release a criminal so don't be surprised that there can be four people in the office who are supposed to be promoted and in spite of your capacity that there is an orchestration of darkness where good can be called evil and evil can be called good he said do not allow your good to be evil spoken of that means if you keep quiet and you don't pray you can be doing good but a perception can come on your good and it will be seen as evil are you ready to pray open your mouth and decree and declare my good will be rewarded as good my good will never be evil spoken of Barabbas should never be released a criminal in the stead of a righteous man Barabbas 
Please pray. show you a mystery in Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 the Bible says and Abraham was old and well stricken in age help me finish that scripture and the Lord had blessed him in how many things so God is able to grant rest round about now please come with me to Acts chapter 26 Acts chapter 26 Acts 16 Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 Acts 16 from verse 25 now when you begin to read contextually you will see that Paul casted a demon out of a lady who brought gain for her masters by divination is that true on account of that miracle it boomeranged on them and they, they now took them and kept them in prison but there's something I want to show now a prison is a place of confinement it's a place of limitation the Bible says at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them 26 suddenly there was a great earthquake hallelujah so that the foundations of the prison were shaken please read the next sentence everyone and immediately all doors how many doors how many doors immediately once there was an earthquake all doors financial doors opened all doors opened a God can give a man rest round about. He says all doors open. All doors open. Listen, when you read 2 Kings chapter 5, we're not turn there for sake of time. The Bible says Naaman, there was a man called Naaman. He was the captain of the Syrian army, he says. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. Thank God for the areas you have gotten results. But for the sake of one other area, you must insist in prayer that in this year, all doors open. Lift your voice and pray. All doors. All doors. All doors. All doors. Kabarosh katepekatos. Embrakatosh kotoprente kotesekete. All doors. In the marvelous name of Jesus, all doors. All doors open, all doors, doors of favor open, all doors, doors of speed open. open doors of fruitfulness open hallelujah 
Aleluya. 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 We're wrapping up. Please do not forget what I want to share with you now. Please look up. Let me establish probably the last prayer point or so. The gospel, the gospel that we that we preach has two sides to it. There is the message that saves. That is the first dimension of the gospel, the message that saves. And the key to propagating that message is evangelism. Are we together? But there is the second dimension to it, the ideology that transforms society. So there are two sides to the gospel. There is the message that saves. There is the ideology that transforms society. The key to advancing the message is called evangelism. But the key to advancing the ideology is called influence. I'm establishing my prayer request now, my prayer point. So for you to completely preach the gospel, you need to embrace the message that saves that deals with you personal salvation but territorial salvation is the mindset that is introduced into systems and structures that enthrones Christ are we together now if you focus only on the message that saves you will be saved as an individual but your territory will frustrate your Christian experience an example was Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah Lot was a righteous man as a person but he was among a people who were depraved and he could not find expression so there are two keys to kingdom advance number one is evangelism number two is influence Satan has a primary assignment to stop both but if for any reason he can't do anything about your receiving Jesus now your personal salvation is a done deal the next place of attack is your influence what is influence influence is the capacity to cause men to buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty Territories can be changed overnight with the power of influence. Cultures are shaped through influence. The Bible says, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men. Can I tell you, most people downplay the power of influence. At every point in your life, someone is influencing you. And you are to bring the influence of the kingdom. Satan will fight influence in any way he can I want to show you a scripture because the gates of influence is about to open for someone are we together in Isaiah chapter 60 when you read from verse 1 to 3 it says arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I would like to quote this many times from Amplified. It says, arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. It says, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Listen carefully. Verse 2 says, for darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen in you. Verse 3 influence gentiles all nations shall come not to you to your light and even their arrogant kings their kings already have results they won't come to your light they come to the brightness of your rising are we together the end time church is going to advance the frontiers of the kingdom not only through evangelism and discipleship but it will come through influence acts chapter 12. oh someone's life is changing acts chapter 12 from verse 1 
please do not forget this scripture and this revelation now watch this you know that the disciples of Jesus I want to show you how Satan fights influence you know the disciples of Jesus were in different levels there was the 70 or 72 he had the 12 but there were three people there were things that they saw the rest did not see and Satan marked every one of them he started by beheading James it was Peter James and John the threefold cord that cannot be easily, easily broken when he found James and they beheaded him he went straight to Paul the Bible says they killed James and he saw that it pleased the Jews and he went straight to Peter during the days of the unleavened bread be patient let's read the Bible says when he had apprehended Peter he put him in where prison what was he fighting he put him in prison you would think that would be enough but then he brought four quaternions of soldiers to still keep him in prison it was not just confinement he wanted four eight soldiers again covered him intending after Easter to bring him forth before the people verse 5 the Bible says Peter therefore was kept in prison please help me finish the remaining part of that sentence but prayer was made this was what was not done for James unfortunately there is no record that they stood in for James and James died but when Peter was there the church said no way there is something we can do please keep it there we're still reading the Bible says prayers was made without season of the church unto God for him the result verse 6 the Bible says and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains Abba, you lock a man in prison tie him with chains and put eight soldiers that's not a fight for liberty is influence and the Bible says that the keepers were there before the door who kept the prison verse 7 and behold the angel of the Lord came in response to prayer listen and a light shined in that prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell from his hands verse 8 the Bible says the angel said guard yourself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and when he went out listen carefully he followed him and wished not that which was true which was done by the angel but he thought he saw a vision now verse 10 the Bible says he held Peter the angel and they passed the first and second word or gate watch this now they passed the first gate he was no longer in prison but he was still confined they passed the second gate far from the prison but still no liberty and the Bible says and they came to the iron gate which led to where so there is a gate that leads to the city every man's city is his place of influence did the Bible not say you are <laughs> listen there is a gate that leads to the city when that gate opens the city must see you for who you are and now begin to place a demand the iron gate that leads to the city businessmen hear me you can be in a city and yet spiritually you are not there because there are gates that must open I understand what I'm telling you listen in Zaria one time there are few only few people here that really understand you know that may know Zaria 
the Lord asked me to trek from a place quite far in town and to trek down till a place called aviation and I was trekking and just speaking over that territory because there are spirits that reside over that place I know what it means for the tulip gates of a city to be opened can I tell you you can be doing I've seen many gifted people sir anointed and sincere but the gates that leads to the city has not been opened I've seen business people who cannot understand preachers sincere love God anointed but the two leaf gates in ancient times you would never come into a city until the gate is open is that true every city spiritually has gates just because you move there physically does not mean the gate is open there is a protocol to influence now watch this the first gate opened the second gate opened and the Bible says this very gate was called the iron gate and my Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder when Jesus prophetically in Psalm 24 was returning back to the land of the living there was a cry lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors hold on those doors have been there for a long time they are used to closing over people and the gates replied who is this king of glory can I tell you this listen for a few of you who may have seen the posters that and I'm saying this respectfully of my coming into the city when I was praying that map of Abuja or something there's one I, I, I don't I still don't know the names of your cities you won't believe it cities the city gates there's one map there like that that was what I saw in my vision that was why I told them to put it in the you know the the billboard or whatever it is because you see let me tell you sincerely spiritually speaking gates have seat um, um cities have gates you want to understand this properly go to the north you won't get it very well around the south you go to the north you see the entrance of every major place you see that now the gates do not have anything closing them but you enter and believe you are in you the city will show you you are not invited there are many business people in Abuja you see the Bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course Psalms 82 and now verse 5 verse 6 says I have said ye are God and all of you are children of the most high the tragedy is verse 7 it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes it takes high level spiritual illumination to be able to command authority even in prayer the foundation for effective prayer is access to the mysteries of the kingdom so that you pray in keeping with the will of God you can know your prayer will be answered your intelligence is consistent with scripture you are not praying amiss the iron gate that opens to the city can I tell you this some of you here are business people some of you here have schools you're running some of you here might be other ministers who came that there is a gate that has to open but when that gate opens you will marvel and wonder the Bible says Gideon blew a trumpet and 33,000 people you would think he did, he did not know where they were hiding he just there was a shofar can I tell you there is an anointing called a hear ye him anointing people don't just listen to you because you have something to say it takes more than that this is my beloved son 
in whom I am well pleased. Creation was given an instruction. Hear ye him. When that grace comes on your business, right from where you are, when it comes upon the works of your hands, I'm saying this because we're about to pray that that gate in the name of Jesus Christ must be opened hither and thither because the king of glory wants to make a triumphant entry are you ready to pray lift your voice and decree and declare gates a fata be open gates a fata hita and tita be open gates be open Gates be open. And the balako shadika te predika te la pasta. The iron gate be broken, be open. Gates of influence, the gate that leads to the city, be open, be open. The King of Glory desires to come in. Be open. Jesus name let me pray for you now you have done the praying second hmm. Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 from the rising of the Sun to the setting of the same I want you to be very sensitive now. You have prayed. Let me pray for you. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8. Hallelujah. I would have told you this maybe privately in the office but the Lord is asking me to say it in the open I just saw a vision and I saw you and your wife and I saw it was like two ships and you were walking and you had gotten to the end of one ship and I saw a hand stretched and it held you to another ship and it began to move I believe I'm not this answer I believe 
that another phase of ministry you hear what I'm saying go and write it down in addition to what you are currently doing another strange apostolic and, dim and prophetic dimension of ministry is opening because this instruction to pray for a long time there are many things that God has not said yet that by by the end of it he will tell why he called for a fast like this just believe me that this fasting is midwifing one season into another that's why God is saying I should say it openly so that the day he tells you they will know that it's not you that just said it that's why I'm saying it in the open ordinarily I may just go and tell him in the office I saw a hand like a sheep sheep and just held him and another season so don't you be surprised what will come out by revelation in the course of this fasting do not think it is the flesh but hear me it is another dimension of ministry this is true it is another dimension of ministry and there are three very strong anointings that will in multiplied dimensions would start working in the life of this man and his wife number one is the teaching grace number two is the healing grace number three is the prophetic grace these three graces in strong dimensions you would begin to see testimonies and manifestations of the hand of God this word would not fail it will happen by the Spirit the second thing I want to say and I apologize again God is asking me to say it and I'm saying it in the open your membership have not yet come the people you are raising are leaders by the time the leaders are raised it will be like an inferno of fire the kind of training you are giving these people is not for membership there is a strengthening they are building capacity because the oil stops when there is no more vessel and so he's listen many of you here you think you are just members of a ministry you are the leaders he's building capacity when he's done it was when the ark was ready that the animals started coming they don't come to wait until the ark I'm speaking this by prophecy an ark of three stories of gopher wood is being built even in this ministry and with this man and when that ark is done the same grace that brought the animals on their own they came two by two and seven by seven they will come by the spirit it will be a wonder to behold what God can do with a man who hears him give Jesus praise now I want to pray for you do you believe in the power of God second Corinthians please stand sir please second Corinthians 9 and verse 8 listen after tonight you must do well to go and invite everybody you know look at what I mean as you are here I'm sure some of you is paining you right now that my loved ones should be here I was glad when they said unto me let us go not let me go let us go is wrong when you are going alone it is let us go anything that is godly is always let us let us make let us go and God is able to make all grace not some grace grace is in dimensions God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency in how many things may abound unto every good work let me explain this scripture that means God is able to coordinate every grace you need and to bring it within your reach this scripture is based on the principle that what is on you is what controls what is around you your results are a report card telling us what is on you or not on you thou anointest my head with oil not my cup 
it is my head that is anointed but i know the size of what is on my head by looking at my cup if my cup is overflowing it means what is on me is overflowing so the physical results in your life are attestations to the grace the kind and the level of grace that you carry are we together you can know that the grace that is upon you has multiplied by the results that change you can know what kind of grace you carry by the testimonies that recycle around your life they are receipts when they change something changed are we together meetings like this by the Spirit of God leads us to pray but then it gives us an opportunity to be able to take something upon our heads that we did not come to church with you can carry something that you did not come with the Bible says when the donkey of Kish was missing they went three days this young man called Saul hmm. and after three days when they did not find it he said let's return back he said no we've left too much there is a seer let us go to that man the word of the Lord does not fail and as soon as they saw Samuel I was so blessed when your man of God made a profound statement he said God's strategy is man it's not a lie when the devil wants to destroy you he introduces a man when God wants to help you he introduces a man in any case it will still be by the ministry of man are we together we are nothing on our own except for the graces that we carry listen the grace of God is a mysterious advantage when it comes upon a man with understanding it can turn the narrative of your destiny in one day when they met Samuel look at a problem that was costing them so much difficulty but as soon as they met a man look at how he trivialized that problem Samuel said no go up I will tell you what is in your heart as soon as Saul saw Samuel the donkey started returning home nobody asked the donkey to return home as soon as Saul met with Samuel be careful what you call impossible there are graces that have been anointed to trivialize your challenges and make it look as if the devil does not exist three things happen when Saul met with Samuel number one he said is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance and he poured oil on his head and said three things will happen to you number one the ass the donkey that has been missing you will find out that restoration has happened the anointing can bring restoration that means just because it left you does not mean it left the earth it is still there under a certain condition it can come back number two he said on your way going you will find three men holding two loaf of bread they will salute you and they will give it to you as if they did not know what to do with the bread they bought bread and were on their way home but because of what was on you they will give you two loaf say favor say honor number three he says you will come to a garrison of the Philistines and when you get there something will happen to you and you will now begin to prophesy and he so prophesied that they said is Saul when did Saul who trained you we know how long it took for us to be prophets by what mystery did you access this anointing that by April you will invite someone and say come to my house and you'll be driving very far thinking is where he knew you to be the last time you met and he will tell you no 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 I forgot to tell you I'm no longer there listen can I tell you this please hear me I believe in diligence I believe in process but there is a prophetic advantage to living can I tell you this true dominion 
the zenith of dominion is dominion over time not things time you are truly walking in dominion when you can compress time and I will restore not the things the years let me tell you how God restores and I will pray with you I hope I'm not wasting your time that means you see in the presence of God there's nothing like past present and future that's a reality that only resides within the realm of men he only broke his realm into this tripartite the trinity of time past present and future to help mankind relate with him but God does not live in time he does not even live in eternity because eternity is also time it's just time without end God's realm is called now everything is a present reality you see in truth so when God reaches into what you call he can go into your yesterday and your tomorrow you see physically when you leave yesterday you don't go back again that privilege was not given to men ordinarily except by the gifts of the spirit and you can tap into information but from a physical standpoint when it's gone it's gone but God will find out based on his predetermined counsel listen carefully how God restores the things that should have happened to you because with every time God gives you there are things that should have happened if by demonic manipulation or your ignorance or carelessness that thing did not happen God will go back into it and push the thing to your future and make it happen again are we together so if by God's predetermined counsel you should be in your own house by 2018 but by lack of sensitivity you did not take advantage of the prophetic word that came from the man of God maybe at that time you were not serious spiritually and you trivialized the word you see that now the house you are building now is not the same one that should have come so what God does is that instead of you going through the labor of building it he can fix that rep that blessing under a class of blessings called prepared blessings hear me there are times that God will send rain on your farm and the crops will grow well you will do the harvesting and the storage but there are times the urgency in your life does not require corn it requires bread directly both corn and bread it is still the same God who sends it God is able to give seed to the sower and bread to the eater what if the sower is hungry because there are times the sower is hungry and he will need to eat to have the strength to go and sow so God gives you bread so that from the strength of that bread you can go and sow are you learning now believing that the only channel of God's blessing is your farm you are limiting his potentials manna can come from heaven manna coming from heaven does not stop you from sowing it's an act of his mercy to make sure you are satisfied early then you go and sow your name is to be hallowed I spent one month it was a February sir the whole of that one month I was praying and studying on favor because I didn't come from a background that would easily give me that privilege and I knew that if I were to do ministry with integrity I would need the favor of God when I found the keys and found the grace I knew this was it I want to pray some prayers for you now and I want you to receive it see, listen you will thank your man of God and you will see the sincerity and the love in his heart after this meeting and the testimonies that follow listen it takes more than desire to excel 
the kind and the quality of grace that is upon you when we honor men we don't honor bodies we honor the sacrifice of alignment alongside the election of grace that has captured this vast dimension of graces upon their lives are we together I want to pray for this grace for favor number one Exodus 11 and verse 3 please give us Exodus 11 and verse 3 and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians moreover the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people notice if it is favor it works with the power of sight that means when the favor of God is upon you the only person who should not bless you is a blind man the moment they can make contact with you they are compelled by an anointing hold on the reason why Moses was great was that it was in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of the people when favor comes on you both the king and the people see you in a way that is deserving of favor Exodus 3 21 and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians what is the proof of the favor and it shall come to pass that when ye go prophesy to yourself I shall not go empty Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part and Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her not them who wanted to favor her your mistake was just to look the moment you can look the anointing works by the power of sight please I'm not just exciting you believe in what I'm telling you she obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 same chapter read verse 17 if you're a Christian one to read and the king loved Esther above stop above above that means before Esther came there were others he was looking at but as soon as she showed up he loved them but he loved her above and she obtained grace and favor again in his more than all the virgins so that he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti are you ready to receive I want to pray for you now the power of God will come on you you don't have to kneel just believe There is a lady here who is going to shout right now a loud shout under the anointing the moment that happens that grace for favor will begin to move across this is what I just saw in the spirit the power of God is coming on it you it's not something you can stand it is it is these are dynamics of the anointing a loud shout is an anointing of the spirit that will come right now I'm ready to pray for you now father in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of the living god help them please i decree right now may that grace and that unction my goodness let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace take that anointing help that lady please supernatural favor I decree and declare, I place it as a mantle upon your head. Go and excel. I shift systems and structures by the power of prophecy. May that grace rest upon you. Find favor with systems. Find favor with structures. Find favor with Egyptians. 
find favor with kings in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. There is honor is a grace. Listen, you can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. Honor is a grace that is transferable. Do you know what is, is honor? Honor means to be seen for who you truly are and to be rewarded to match the true worth of your person. That's what honor means. Favor means to be preferred, but honor means to be given the regard that befits your sacrifice. You can be great, but if honor is not on you, you will not be rewarded to match your true worth. Let me show you a scripture. Numbers 27 from verse 18 to 20. Let's hurry up for time. We're wrapping up now. The Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit already and lay your hands upon him is that in your bible verse 2 it says set him before Eliaza the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight verse 20 please read it if you're a christian one to read and thou shalt put some of your honor on him that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. People don't listen to you just because you are sincere. There is honor that comes upon you. Call Moses. He's already filled with the Holy Spirit. But lay your hands upon him. And then in anointing him, don't leave him like that. Transfer some of your honor to him. Honor is transferable. Can I pray for you? Father, just help those under the anointing. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, may that grace right now, may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. That grace for honor Everything that has despised your grace, everything that has despised the investment of God upon your life, I change that narrative by this mantle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Joseph? Joseph. I'm hearing a name Joseph. Who is that? Joseph. We're wrapping up. What do you do, my friend? I cannot. What do you hold on? What do you do? What do you do? Who is a who is a music minister here? You is, is he a member? Ah, huh? you sing. Listen to me. You see that prayer. On the iron gate go and pray that prayer when you go back I want to pray for you because truly God wants to lift you but this this is not just by human connections is not what this is by the Spirit I pray for you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that grace that gives visibility something is coming on you right now take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same take that grace by the power of the Holy Spirit 
here that works in access bank access bank access bank oh I know him I didn't even know he was one There are strange liftings that are coming to people in this place. I stretch my hands, three of you, I, you don't have to kneel. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place an anointing upon you that in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, this grace for favor, let it come upon you right now for your lifting. You take that grace, find favor, even with your administrators. In the name of Jesus and every conspiracy of darkness to implicate you we cancel it right now by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayers I want to release the grace for speed truly there is a grace for speed now hear me I don't know how we're going to do it I just have maybe less than two three minutes and I'm done thank you for your patience with me but I want to release this grace from the depth of my heart I told you true dominion is dominion over time now whether you are an usher or not please help me in this prayer because the hand of God will come on people and they will start running physically I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and you can bring them out Right now, I stretch my hands. This, this ministry would be characterized by and with a strange order of speed. I stretch my hands at the count of three. My God, I'm just seeing fire rest on people. Please bring those under the anointing. Right now, at the count of three. One. Bring them up. Two. Three, take that grace now. Help them. Speed. Speed. Help them, please. My God. Speed. Speed. Receive that grace. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I command speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. I cause the root of delay by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I cause a bakato shedegata. Prateske tebe katosiata. Emprakatos katia. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You'll never be the same. Speed. Ten years in one year. Ten years, I prophesy. Ten years in one year. The result of ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. I stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of God. In three months from today, according to the mystery of the ark in the house of Obed Edom, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak to you between now and the next three months 
I shift you to a new season. Help them. I shift you to a new season. Hear me. We're wrapping up. That night could not the king sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And they opened the chronicles and he saw where Mordecai had saved the life of the king and was not rewarded. Hear me. Many of you have been part of the success story of many and yet you've been forgotten. I stand by prophecy. Let the book of remembrance be opened now. There is an anointing coming on your wife, sir. I'm seeing an angel pour like oil on her. And the Lord is saying she's entering a season of reward. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. She's entering a strange season of reward. Let me say it again. Anyone who has forgotten you, I stand in partnership with the grace of your man of God. May that book of remembrance be opened now. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, by this fire that is coming upon you, I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are, in this Abuja, I speak to the north, I speak to the east, I speak to the south, I speak to the west. I command them to show up for you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Please hear me. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. It says, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. Can I tell you this? There are different dimensions and levels of wealth. There is wealth that comes by providing value. There is wealth that comes by relationships. But there is wealth that comes by prophecy. It says, by this time, tomorrow. And when he said it, the one who the king leans on said, even if God will open the windows of heaven, might this happen? I want to pray for you. Praying the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness. However, in this kingdom, we are not just left with economic principles. There is a superior advantage that in addition to the value that we provide, in addition to the relationships that come based on our impacting lives, my life is a testimony I can tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. I pray for you finally. In this prayer session of fasting and praying, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, the same grace that took a raven and it brought bread for Elijah at Brook Cherith, the same grace that took coin and put it in the mouth of a fish. The same grace that turned five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people with 12 baskets remaining. By the power of the prophetic, in the name of Jesus, I connect you to strategic relationships. Strategic relationships in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Let's pray in the spirit, everyone. Pray from the depth of your heart in the spirit. Embrekete paradas ke de balakosia ta brande ke balakosia de badas. Shana kata brande ke de belekotasia de balados. 
Rashi Brenda Gede Baraku Sadaba Lakata Brenda Gede Gede Beladabo. Lift your voice and pray. Bless him in the spirit. Shande Badakata Baratos Kate Brenda Gede 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 Bosch. Mighty God. Hela Basha Brenda Gede Bereku Siata. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, are you praying? Shema na 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 mas, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. You're the King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God. Praise the bread of life, Emmanuel, God with us, the one who saves. We praise the cup of life, that glorious spring that washes our sins away. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. The Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, and I will follow the lion, I will follow the lamb. Bless him in the spirit. Shema la kata brande ge barusa zige de belegatusia. Shkate brande ge la hashala baka brande ge barusia ta. Make melodies in your heart. Shala braske de malakatusia ta. The Bible says, "Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit." Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns. Spiritual songs making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Ala baratas kada brenda gede baratus sadi gede balakatusia. Krata kapara gede balakata brenda gede balakusia ta. Kade berentos kalibara has kade baladusia. The one true God and Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Don't be distracted. It's part of the meeting.
Pray. It's an anointing service for divine preservation. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. That's going to be someone's prophetic word after tonight. Ah, that the Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more. Indeed, we will sing the songs of Miriam. We will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. one more minute you are still praying you are stretching your spirit man to expand building capacity we worship you the God of all flesh King of Kings Lord of Lords we honor you in the name of Jesus been in Zaria for a very long time many of you who are in the north there are donkeys that carry load many times you know because because of the northern context most of their transportation is largely maybe farm things they carry through those oxen and the rest and sometimes you can see those donkeys they can put grains put whatever just touch it on them and something that can run so fast faster than a human being is now limited because it's carrying something maybe even twice the size of it That means the pace you are going in life is not the true expression. Not the true expression of God's desire. But that there is something hanging on your neck. Hanging on your family. Help that gentleman please. Now listen. I want to share with you a scripture. Something happened to me. Um, that was, I think it was day before yesterday. I woke up with this scripture. I'd never, I, well, maybe, I'm sure that I may have read it, but I've never really, I just saw it like that from the dream. And I knew God wanted me. That is the key scripture 
that is for this this impartation tonight second samuel 1 21 hmm. ye mountains of gilboa let there be no dew neither let there be rain follow closely upon you nor fields of offering he said for there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away the shield of saul as though he had not been anointed with oil do you know what this means that means that the shield he was trying to explain something and he said look at that was the same place where the shield the system of protection of saul fell as if he was not anointed that means if you are anointed some things should not happen are you getting me now he says the shield of Saul as though he had not been anointed with oil how can the shield of a man that was so anointed fall by the wayside just like that as if there is no divine backing on him I woke up with this scripture that means there are some things we need to cancel this night please pay attention I sense a strong anointing here because there is 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 by instruction god said we should put this special anointing service why should that family just go down as though they were not anointed was saul not anointed but when the anointing left saul look how he died that's what he's saying there that the anointing is a preserver there is a diplomatic immunity that comes with being anointed When they are rejecting everyone, they reject you too like the rest. As though oil did not come on you. I remember some years ago, I was praying for someone. And um, they said everyone who prays for the person, you know, something tragic seems to happen to the person. And the person can even die. People had died at least two or three people before that time and you know they were cautioning me me to be careful you know they just said please apostle we love you just be careful so that this thing does not backfire and with 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 every sense of love i turned and i looked at the person who was talking with compassion and i said that's the thing you see you people what you are looking at is this frame you really believe it's like saying a president just dies all you see is not all there is a governor just dies a general in the army just dies just because you saw him walking alone and playing golf you believe that all he's holding is just the golf stick and the golf and his playing you may not understand the systems of immunity that surround him listen to me Beloved, when you come into Christ, activate these other forces and then you back it up with this anointing. You can find rest. That I, I, it, it is when the devil is looking for blood for the ember months, for December, it is minus me because there is an anointing upon my life. Listen. Now, I know this is, this is an emotional point because things have happened around you, but let God be true make up your mind by the spirit of god that all those spirits that appear to you they won't allow you go to bed for god's sake you go god gave sleep for rest but there are as soon as you put your head up there they come again coming as all kinds of things Taking you back to secondary school. Taking you back to primary school. What business do you have going back there? Help that lady, please. I like your spirit to be fired up because in the next 10 minutes we are going to step into a season of prayer first 
first and hear me many of you as you pray in that prayer you, you are you are sending a, an alarm in the spirit enough is enough enough of living in fear what if i die what kind of life is that you can't be effective living in fear what if i die what if i'm kidnapped what if something happens there has to be a system of safety hallelujah listen listen to me this man talking to you is not stupid though i have received all kinds of prophetic words for many years be careful with your life be careful with this we saw them kidnapping you we saw them doing this we saw this one planning to kill you the person talking is not stupid believe me if you don't engage this thing you will live in fear because the reality that surrounds you will be so real let God be true Listen, in the next five to ten minutes, please give some of my people the mic. I need these guys to pray with me. Worship team, give your mic. Let's have a few people go and, and, and pray. We are going to be praying and set this place on fire for the next ten minutes. Are we together? Maybe let's have three or four mics. There are still more people. And we are going to pray. As you are praying in the spirit, you are opening up yourself. Tired of these limitations. Tired of living in fear. Tired of living by any, whatever it is. By the power of the word of God. Now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Are you praying? <laughs> Let it be from the depth of 
Sloha, Scapato, Scopo, Pecate, Embrecate, Capaca, Potopato, Embrecate, Embrecate, Potopato, Embrecate, 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 79 and verse 11. I want us to confront the spirit of death. Psalm 79 and verse 11, please. Media, are you helping us? It said, let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those appointed to die. Listen, we are still praying preservation. You are going to pray for you, your children, and all who are connected to you. That the fullness of your days you will fulfill. And any embargo of death hanging on you, he must give way right now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Where is your sting? Oh, pray. Where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven, by the word of the Lord. Pray. Pray over your children. Pray over your family. Pray over your loved one. In the name of Jesus, preserve from death. Preserve from the soul. Preserve from the hands of evil and wicked men. In the name of Jesus, 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 hallelujah. Please hear me. You are going to pray and cover everyone connected to you. Mention them by name and declare that under God and by the word of God, Satan, you have no hand over their life, whether in death, whether in tragedy, they are preserved. Lift your voice and pray. Mention them by name. He said, as for me and my house. Call your mother, call your father, call your siblings, call your spouse, call your children by name, declare over their lives, prophesy preservation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
Don't be tired while praying. Hallelujah. You are going to declare that if there is any mark upon my life and destiny attracting tragedy to my life, that was what came upon Cain. And Cain cried. He said, by reason of this mark, anybody who sees me will harm me. You are going to lift up your voice and pray that if there be any strange mark that came by ancestry, that came by bloodline upon my head and my destiny, attracting tragedy in the name of Jesus, it is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and pray. It is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Every marking of darkness erased by the blood of the Lamb. 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 Shabakata Bradakatos, Catrocopraskate, Ebrakatapakatos, Coco Brigade, every mark in the name of Jesus, every mark upon my life, upon my family, upon Koinonia for tragedy, for evil. By the blood of the Lamb, it is erased in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, please don't be tired. Two more prayer points. Don't be tired at all. The Bible says the spirit is willing, even though the flesh is weak. Don't make bargain with a destiny defining moment now you're going to pray that every pattern whatever you saw happen to anyone and is now gradually coming to you every pattern pattern of failure pattern of trouble pattern of untimely death that seeks to come to me my children my family i cancel it by the blood lift your voice and pray Every cycle, every pattern, wanting to repeat itself in my life, I bless you, by the blood, I bless you, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen. This prayer we are going to pray is going to produce profound miracles. Listen. In the lives of people. I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is making me tell you this. Some of you may not believe the prayers, but that's all right. But I want you to pray. Do you know there is an average of six to seven in every ten people that have this mysterious encounter with spirit husbands, spirit wives, strangers that come to people while they are sleeping. They come to molest you. They try to sleep with you, plant all kinds of things in your body. Listen, as I'm praying now, many of you, the, the kind of deliverance that will come, this has been responsible for the barrenness of many people. If many people are to be open, they will tell you. A job is supposed to open up for you. 
you get to bed in the night here comes that experience again someone comes to sleep with you molest you or some kind of dehumanizing experience and you wake up with a plethora of tragedies during our discussion on deliverance next year i will teach you some of these mysteries there are imbalances to them that continue to plant fear in believers i understand but believe me within the balance of scripture i can tell you that there are orchestrations of darkness that try to latch onto men say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you i shared with you my own experience the person talking to you is not in ignorance i was already in ministry and yet these spirits will come mine is just to come and oppress me and because of the prophetic i would see them i would shout jesus in the name of jesus blood of jesus as a man of god don't think i'm talking nonsense here i understand these things many of you because of the stigma around church you may not have the courage to open up to say look i am going through this some of you have the, you feel physically like a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and do all kind, and you find out that there are repercussions spiritually we're about to pray my god i'm just in fire in this place this is what i'm saying <laughs> listen hold on just help those under the anointing because fire is falling here for sure say after me in the name of jesus, in the name of jesus every spirit every spirit that is not of the christ that is not of the christ in and around my life, in and around my life I, decree and declare, I decree and declare by the mystery of the blood by the let there be an eternal separation live my life my destiny forever open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray an eternal separation every stranger latching onto your body every spirit coming to you using the faces of men the faces of animals creatures to molest you and oppress you by the blood eternal separation Help them, help those under the anointing. I command that spirit. You must go. Go with the sickness you brought. Go with the infirmity you brought. Go with the tragedy you brought out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Haras come sile ko siatari ko siba. I'm seeing the number 11. I want you to bring all those people out. 11. I just saw fire. 
and I saw the number 11. There is something God is doing in these families. This 11 is not just the individuals. He's locating the individuals for the sake of their families. I stretch my hands. This 11 people, please bring them out. 11, bring them out. We hail you. We worship you. We hail you, Most High. We hail you. We worship you. We hail you, Most High. We hail you. We worship you. Oh, visit the family, so called. Turn their situations around. Hallelujah. Please bring them out. I want you to be very sensitive. I'm hearing the word Savior, and God is saying He's imparting grace on those that God is going to be using literally to change their families i don't know where you are but if you are part of those people grace is coming on you now bring them out in the name of jesus god is separating people there is a consecration happening in the spirit because you have been identified as that battle axe that god is going to be using to rewrite the story of your family i don't know where you are but i stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, may that grace locate you now. Please bring them out quickly. May that grace apakatos kebraskila. Bring them out. Bring them out. Please don't be distracted. That's why you came. That's why you came. The Lord is still revealing to me. The Spirit of God is moving. Row to row, place to place. Picking men up. The ones who will be saviors. I hear that word again. Saviors. It is like a, a spiritual recruiting. It's time for God to visit your life, visit your family. But He will always need a man, and that man is the one He's finding now. Bring them out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Bring them out. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shaba kapara da 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 ba. Ay 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 ay. Ay 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 ay. Say. Ay 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Who is by the name Jane? I'm hearing the name Jane. J-A-N-E. Jane. Jane. Alanta Sabra Keparaku Sevrestia. I'm hearing the name Jane. The Lord wants to bring mighty deliverance. 
I tell you, there is a strong anointing in this place. As it's happening here, it's happening all over the overflows and also the airwaves. I'm hearing the name Jane. Before we sit down, Jane, who is Jane? I want to speak to your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a very interesting vision. I'm seeing like a mango tree, and I'm seeing mangoes fall down and they are wasting. They don't stay in the tree. And the Lord is telling me this is the issue of fruitfulness that has been happening for a family. Miscarriages again and again. They never stay. I pray for the family of Jane. Every spirit that has hindered fruitfulness, I stretch my hands now. Let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it aparosketa. Let it catch fire now. I bring liberty to the family of Jane. Every altar eating up children, destroying fruitfulness by the power of the Holy Ghost, it comes to an end now. Every family suffering from barrenness, unfruitfulness of any kind in the name of Jesus Christ, let that play come to an end now. Believe what you are hearing. Let that play come to an end now. Let that play come to an end now. That a mango tree with fruit, it doesn't stay until it's ripe and it keeps falling down. And you are looking at the tree, the leaves are there, but it is not producing. I say it again, if there is anyone here or anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this is the miracle service that delivers your results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let me stretch my hands over all that have come to the front. I didn't ask you to come out just to waste my time or your time. I pray for you, everyone who is in front here, for those that are now becoming battle axes for the kingdom, the anointing that you need to return back as a warrior, I stretch my hands from here. May that grace rest on you now. May that grace rest on you now. And for everyone who is out here, because of an oppression of darkness, that God located you by the spirit, the spirit responsible for this, I speak as one sent. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ. For the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Everything that is darkness, we bring light now by the Spirit. We bring light by the Spirit. We bring light by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Your miracles are established forever. In the name of Jesus. Those who can go, just let them go. Those who are still under the anointing, just let them be. Please sit down and let's finish up the second part. Because we need to allow the power of God to move in this place. There are people who have prayed and fasted. There are issues in your life that you must wave goodbye now. It is time and they must wave you back. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady. Just hold her. I want to speak. There's something I just saw. In the name of Jesus, release that lady's destiny now. I speak. I stretch my hands. Let her go forever. In Jesus' name. Hmm. 
there will be a serious deliverance here. There will be a serious deliverance here. Usher's grace for you, eh, my dear people, in the name of Jesus, because you have a lot of work to do today with what I'm seeing in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring two people from this row. I just saw light on this row. The power of God is coming on two people just on this row. Bring them out. There is a strong anointing coming on them. Please, very quickly, we have a lot to do. I'm seeing the power of God come where the international visitors are. I just saw light on one person. You have been praying. Bring the person out. The fire. In fact, two people I'm seeing. Please bring them out. Hmm. For someone you came tonight to contact the grace for signs and wonders. And in the name of Jesus, I'm not, I've not started the impartation yet, but there is something God wants to do. I stretch my hands. May my God release great power upon your life. Great power upon your ministry. Great power upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, two people from my international, is, is this one of them? Cameroon. I'm seeing deliverance happening for someone who came from Cameroon. Cameroon. I can imagine that there were a number of people, but Cameroon, this is very serious witchcraft. And God wants to bring this demonic thing to end. Cameroon. Do you have, if they are under the anointing, I need to know who is from Cameroon. Cameroon. Spirit of death. People dying before their time. You are coming from Cameroon? Ah, I'm seeing a snake. What is this? Harasho Baragosieta. Kradila Kaparandos Keata. I give you authority over snakes and scorpions. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. The spirit of untimely death destroying people in this family. I decree and declare those altars are destroyed now by the blood of the eternal covenant. Listen, let me teach you something. Look up, please. Look up, please. When you see, when you hear me say the word altar, let your mind not go to a place, a herbalist shrine with stones. That's not spiritual intelligence. An altar is not a place. An altar is a system of authorization. What you call an altar that is built is only a reflection, a physical expression. Even if you destroy that shrine, it does not mean the altar has been destroyed. The system of authorization is what we call an altar. Are we together now? Yeah. I want to pray for you. Cameroon. Father, in the name of Jesus, for every of our lovely Cameroonian families that are here connected, here on ground, or connected online. I don't know why God called your name, but right now, that plague of witchcraft, help this gentleman. I command it be delivered now shame and reproach that has plagued your family it comes under arrest in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a family the hand of God is going to come upon you now when women marry, they must return back to their husband's homes. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that whatever makes that happen, by the blood of the eternal covenant, it is hereby destroyed now. It is hereby destroyed now. 
it is hereby destroyed now. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Lord is showing me something. Please don't be tired there. Eh? This is a miracle service. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and the spirit of the Lord is showing me Kogi state. That there is a mighty deliverance. Help them now. That is coming upon Kogi state. Now it's a sign and a wonder. The moment God shows me the map and I see the people from that state. All those who are oppressed from that state. The power of God begins to touch them. It's a sign and a wonder. It's how God does. Therefore I'm praying. Kogi state. Every enchantment and every divination that has tied men down. Be released right now. Bring them out. Be released right now. Every part of the state, Kogi state, I bring you liberty by the spirit. I bring you deliverance by the spirit. Spirits of untimely death, all kinds of yokes of darkness, be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone you could not lift your hands very well. I don't know what happened to your, your is it, um, is it a, I, I don't know if it's a, a bone condition or whatever it is. Wherever you are, I want you to lift it now. Lift it now. You will see that a miracle has happened. And if that miracle has happened, stand up where you are. I want to know those that the power of God has touched. Your right arm, I'm feeling that pain just right here. This is what is happening to someone. But in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, as God has given this instruction, I declare be healed now. Be healed now. Now do what you couldn't do. Stretch your hands. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, whether it's a bone condition, whatever it is, go ahead. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Go ahead. Stretch your hands. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. They believe when they saw. They believe when they saw there are things when men see it enhances their believing it reminds them again for some maybe for the first time that there is a God that is greater than any charm there is a God that is greater than any speakings any generational cause there is a God that is greater than any orchestration of darkness and it is that God we have come to reveal and ladies and gentlemen if this is why you are here tonight then I welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ to an encounter that you will live to testify. I know that many are already receiving. And let me tell you the truth. I know, let me say this. I know there are several overflows here and then several others outside. Sometimes my heart pains me because those inside here are a minute fraction of the so many thousands of people scattered across this whole ground. And then not to talk of the many more connecting online and you you don't if i had my way i want everybody to be in one place where i can see everybody to encourage you as you are seeing me but you know no matter the auditorium at least for now the size will not be able to take us but let me tell you this i'm saying that to encourage someone you may think that these manifestations is just for those who found their way in the main auditorium. And you may be saying, I mean, maybe the basement, any of the overflows or outside, or maybe fine America, Canada. Can I tell you the truth? The lady who was healed in one of the synoptic accounts, the centurion said, I am a man under authority. You don't need to come to my house. He says, speak the word only. And Jesus said, when he looked at him, the Bible says that very hour when his servants came, you can be outside and yet be the first to be healed. Be the first to be lifted. That you have proximity to the man of God does not automatically, it's just a psychological consolation. Let me tell you the truth. As far as the realm of the spirit is concerned, the believer is the one who receives. Not the one close to the miracle worker. Many people were close to Jesus and they did not receive. Others were far off, but with faith in their hearts, they received. So let me bring a word of encouragement to the many thousands of people outside, those across all the overflows and those following online. Wherever you are, please hear me. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living God. When it's time to pray, let your hearts be enlarged, be open to receive because the God of heaven is no respecter of person. Are you ready to receive now? Please rise up on your feet.
Say Father. Father. One more time. Say Father. Father. I decree. And I declare that in the name of Jesus, answers to every issue of concern I receive now. Go ahead and pray. Answers. Health answers. Destiny answers. Marital answers. Fruitfulness answers. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers in the name of Jesus. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up Glorified, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe, 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 Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Go ahead and pray. Say, breathe. Hallelujah. We are going to do a very quick one right now. There are three areas of focus tonight. Number one, prophesying liberty for the various aspects of our lives. Number two, ministering deliverance to people who are oppressed. Because most of the issues you call prayer requests, the truth is that they are signifying the presence of spirits that may be operating for some on legal basis. This is where the ministry of the blood comes, that the blood sustains the unique ability to bring a separation. And you will find out that with that separation, many requests to be answered in a moment. And then I want to take a few minutes and pray for the sick. Those of you who are sick or came with sick loved ones, make sure you release your heart, your faith to be healed right now. Hopefully we'll have the time and in a few minutes, uh, now because we're hurrying up, the moment you have a testimony, I'm going to ask you to walk out very quickly. Some of you who have already received will take a few testimonies and then will enter the stage of prophetic words. That declaration is important to me because that is how many of you will return with testimonies. Not everybody is sick. Not everybody may be oppressed or have any kind of demonic influence of all sorts. But I can be sure that everybody is tired of their current level and that they want to scale heights in the spirit and in destiny. Hallelujah. 
praise the name of the Lord. Now, I want to pray for those who have experienced all kinds of satanic issues. My Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Many sicknesses are connected to spirits. It is true. There are many demonic influences plaguing families. Now, I'm going to pray and it's going to be, I will ask you in our manner here to shout the name Jesus and when I do with humility of heart and the fullness of faith I'd like you to obey that prophetic instruction and very quickly I'd like you to bring out those who will be under the anointing now the ushers are limited please do me a favor if someone maybe you are especially you're a worker those under the anointing when I ask you to bring them out, if there's someone under the anointing close to you, just help to bring them out. You don't have to wait for the ushers. They are limited. There are literally tens of thousands of people all over and there's so much they can do. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, here at this miracle service, you gave us authority and you gave us power over snakes, scorpions, and over all the powers of the enemy. You gave us authority over witchcraft, altars, and every kind of satanic manifestation. Father, there are lives here, there are destinies here that have been under the siege of darkness as individuals, as families, as businesses, plaguing their health, their finances, and various aspects of their lives. This is why your people came. And Lord, I pray right now that as your people shout that name that is above every other name, every spirit that has tied down lives, that has tied down destinies, it is time for you to give way. Ladies and gentlemen, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name that is above every other name, that name that defeated sin, Satan, hell, and the grave. And as you shout it, let every spirit that is not the Holy Spirit of God it will clear the way and it will release your destiny now and then not just very quickly please bring those under the anointing are you ready now thank you Jesus one my God I sense a strong anointing two three shout Jesus help them please release every destiny now every destiny bow be released now, outside, inside, yokes of darkness, curses, shabakatos ketebata. Let God's people go now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, we're still praying, in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing hands tied. I've seen this many times. Every hand that has been tied, right now I decree and declare, let the, let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring a separation now. 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 The spirit of delay, whose destiny has been delayed here, whose destiny is not rising here. I'm seeing fire falling. Father, let the altar of delay right now, at the count of three, let it be broken. One, two, three, break now. Break now. Destiny delay, be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. I'm seeing a veil, a veil, a covering stopping your glory from being seen. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. I stretch my parakatos. Help that lady, my God. In the name of Jesus, that veil that has covered your glory, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Oh, 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 o
outside. There is something God wants to do to those outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names. Those at the overflow outside, at the count of three, those outside, I want you to shout Jesus. I'm seeing altars on fire and the Lord is telling me that these are altars of untimely death sitting on the destinies of people. Some of you have lost your loved ones. I don't know why God is speaking to me about those outside. Right now I decree and declare outside at the count of three. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Break now, break now, break now, break now. The spirits of untimely death, you are under arrest by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Everyone appointed unto death. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Shame and disfavor. In the name of Jesus. To a point where people avoid you like a plague. Because it's as if you are carrying bad luck. They whisper to one another and say, don't come near this person. The last time I came, I went down. I pray for you. Every negative mark upon your head that makes people to reject you. In the name of Jesus, I wipe it out tonight. 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 Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm soon to begin to pray for the, the sick. This person, you had fibroid years ago. You went to the hospital and they operated you and is regrowing back again. This is a spiritual thing. I'm praying right now. This is what I see in my vision. I don't know who that person is. By the power, parakata siketea, sanit separantas kaba, kabarakatos kabregata. That devil manifesting as fibroid. It dies now. It dies now. It dies now. Praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints sing praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day. in front here and those who have come out in the various overflows I speak to every spirit that has tied you down in the name of he who died and rose again this is koinonia a house that God has helped and I declare at the count of three you lose your hold on them and everything you have taken from their lives let there be a restoration at the count of three one two three go now go now Go now, never to return. Go now, never to remain. Go now, never to return. Their bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Their destinies are immune, fortified by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick. Just be silent. I want you to listen to me. I'm seeing something that looks like a white towel. And I'm seeing it being laid on the heads of people. Not everybody. These are specific people. It is being laid upon. And I'm wondering what is wrong. And the Lord is telling me that there are destinies that have cried. There are families that have cried. And he's coming in as a bam in Gilead. This is not just bodily sickness. I'm seeing this being laid on people right now. Father, I'm at least with what I'm seeing, it should not be less than 12 or 13. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know who this, this cloth, I'm sure is a sign of succor that is coming on a bleeding and a weeping family or a man of God. I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus as I have seen in the spirit in truth let it rest on your head. In truth let it rest on your head. And by this prophetic mystery every and all weeping comes to an end now. Hallelujah. Please hear me. If you came with a photo of someone as a prophetic contact for healing, while I'm praying now, I want you to connect. It doesn't matter where they are. It doesn't matter where they are. I sense a, a mighty healing anointing right now. Please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. I want to pray for the sick now. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. Outside, lay your hands. Everywhere. Lay your hands. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise We raise For you are God and God alone your hand I want to pray for you right now I'm seeing so many people lifting up photos of loved ones it looks like there is a demonic onslaught of sickness that wants to bring mockery to the body of Christ people who love God and serve the Lord and then the devil just comes in sometimes as a devourer and the whole savings of families just go in one month in two months because they have to manage delicate health issues. Please, I want you to believe that Jesus heals. Lay your hands. Let me pray for you now. Whether it is a growth. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place father in the name of Jesus release your faith now I decree and declare you gave men the power over unclean spirits. You gave power to heal even incurable diseases. Your people are here representing themselves and representing their loved ones. In the name that is above all names and by the God who has sent us to be his channels of healing to the nations. I decree and declare right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, if that sickness has a name, if that sickness has a name, then I command it to bow now. Bow now. Bow now. Every 
blood condition be healed now in Jesus name every malfunctioning heart you receive a brand new heart now cancer we call you by name and we curse you by the God of heaven fibroids of all kinds you die from the bodies of God's people kidney failure in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle a restoration of your kidneys liver failure let there be a restoration of your liver gastrointestinal conditions be healed right now reproductory conditions be healed right now goiter the Lord is showing me someone goiter be healed now eye conditions glaucoma cataract be healed now short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed now brain tumors prostrate problems lumps all around your body be healed now movements of satanic objects around your body in the name of Jesus that movement stops this moment deafness whether on one of the of the ears or both of them in the name of Jesus let them be opened now there's someone you are a gentleman you are not able to ease yourself it looks like some um, maybe some urinogenital problem I don't know what it is but you are not able to ease yourself excruciating pain this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus right now this moment I decree and declare healing comes for you now peptic ulcer be healed now back pain be healed now there's someone you came with severe pain around your kneecap that pain is living now that pain is living now the Lord is showing me a healing happening for someone around your molar severe pain it looks like it looks to you because of the pain like perhaps there may be some hole or some cavity problem may the Lord bring you a miracle now make sure you keep believing the Lord is showing me someone's mother I'm seeing her just sit on a chair she's not able to use her right leg I'm seeing a crutch in the name of Jesus wherever mama is whether she's here on ground or following from across the globe in the name of Jesus healing comes now healing comes now there's someone I think your elder your elder sister is having her lip swell like it's becoming twice the size of the normal human lip this thing you see I'm not a doctor but based on what God is showing me is cancer forming in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead the way it came let it go back I say it again the way it came let it go back there is a in fact two people I'm seeing you have a very severe I don't know what the medical name is what they call nose bleeding you can stand and just begin to bleed significant portions of blood coming through your nose in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now whatever the medical condition is be healed now I'm seeing a gentleman you are here you are SS that's sickle cell 
when this crisis starts for you it's almost as if you are gasping for breath to lose your life in the name of Jesus I don't know where that gentleman is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that crisis come to an end now I need to pray for someone you sprained your leg but with what I'm seeing is beyond a sprain on your leg because you are not able to stand straight it looks like there are pins that are choking your leg like pins this thing I need to pray for you there is something wrong with your veins and your arteries in the name of Jesus Christ may my God who is healer bring healing right now bring healing right now for someone you are not sick per se but you are not able to sleep in the night once people go to bed you just lie down and you keep rolling left and right and sleep almost never comes to a point that you are already getting I'm seeing you take a white pill something that was given to you in the hospital and it's almost becoming an addiction you are taking it and yet it is not working in the name of Jesus may my God who is also your God bring you healing right now Again, the Lord is showing me a woman just like I shared the vision earlier. You take in, but then you have a dream and all kinds of things happen in that dream. Soon after that dream, you will lose this pregnancy. This thing has happened over six or seven times. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on you now. Help that lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Someone you are having, I want to pray for you. You may think it's a joke, but I think a doctor warned you that you are having a heart problem that if you are not careful you're going to have a, a heart attack and it can affect you in your sleep you got angry at the doctor the doctor did not lie I need to pray for you because I'm seeing a situation where I'm not a medical doctor forgive me but I'm seeing that your heart is not pumping blood well and a situation where you know how like a car that loses fuel you know how it keeps jacking and stops this is what I'm seeing Prophetic things are very funny. Sometimes God uses other images to show you what he's, he's showing you. I'm seeing like a car. You know how fuel is over and it's gasping and stops. And this is what I see of that person. And then he doesn't wake up again. In the name of Jesus. Anyone having a heart problem, whether you know it or not. Of course, you should always be responsible. I've taught you this. But in the name of Jesus right now, I'm praying for you. Whatever wants to kill you using heart attack or heart failure breathing problems in fact be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you even came here with your inhaler you are an asthmatic patient when this thing starts on you it's almost as if you literally feel life passing out of you and this thing has punished you again and again I'm praying for that person you came here literally with your inhaler in the name of Jesus wherever you are may the power of God rest upon you right now rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a woman here your concern is not even you your concern is your child that you came with your child is already manifesting autistic tendencies and yet you gave birth to a healthy child this has been a serious problem for you not only is the child hyperactive is becoming clear that it's like the brain the mind is not properly coordinated in the name of Jesus Christ may the God of mercy right now wherever you are across this auditorium alongside that precious child in the name of Jesus Christ I bring healing for that person now my God, mighty miracles are happening here. Someone, you came here, you couldn't move your legs well. In the name of Jesus, 
I want you to begin to move your legs now. A supernatural miracle is happening to you right where you are. Now, there's someone, you don't have a lump, but when you lie down with the left side, your chest area, you're a lady. It's not like it's a lump, but the pain is excruciating. The power of God is touching you right now. Healing is coming right now. Healing is coming right now. Healing is coming right now. I'm seeing a woman here. You don't see in the night. Because of this thing, you don't drive in the night. Your eyes seem fine, but in the night, especially once it's hazy, you literally can go and stumble across maybe a, a, a door or something like that. I'm praying for you. You will know that you are healed this night because right from where you are, you will see your perfect vision wherever you are. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, and for those of you who are lifting up photos or through your phones or whatever means, I'm seeing you whether inside, outside, Jesus is seeing you more importantly. I stretch my hands in agreement with you that those photos representing these people you are lifting in the name of Jesus, may my God give them a miracle now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now here's what I want you to do. We're only going to dedicate five minutes for this. Hallelujah. I want everybody to keep standing. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Even if it's at a time where I was praying and you fell under the anointing, the moment you find out that there is a miracle, it's important that we give people a few minutes to testify because from here I want to get into prophetic declarations. I really want something to rest on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want a prophetic word to rest upon your head that you must return with a testimony from. But very quickly, the hand of God has touched you or touched your loved ones or those of you online, a miracle has happened to you. Send in your testimony now. Now I'm going to give those outside all the overflows. The moment you check yourself as you're doing now, you see that there is a miracle. Very quickly, come out. You can come to my left or to my right very quickly and a few officials will take your testimony i'm seeing people coming out let's celebrate them as they come in the name of jesus christ and those who are coming from any overflow if it's for testimony please protocol ushers allow them very quickly and let's have them come out don't sit back a miracle has happened to you check yourself are you celebrating miracles people are coming out now those outside very quickly let's shame the devil let, let's experience, let's enjoy the atmosphere of his presence within a few minutes. And then I speak over your life. Now, while they are coming out, are you celebrating miracles, my God? Look what Jesus is doing tonight. Outside, clear the way for them as they come. Mighty miracles by the Spirit. How many of you have written your prayer requests? Very quickly, let me see your hands. How many of you are yet to write your prayer requests? Okay, very quickly, while we are doing that, please... Bring out your paper, those online, if you are yet to send your prayer request, this is a Bible-believing ministry, and there is a God that answers prayer. Hallelujah. When we come like this by the instruction of the Lord, we agree by faith, laying hands on your request, and believing the Lord, the God of all grace, to move mightily. So very quickly, if you have written your prayer request, I want you to pass it to the last person by your left or right. Don't worry, no one reads your request. It's between you and God. So just pass it very quickly to make the work easy for the ushers. Please, ushers, make sure you go outside. Make sure everyone's request is here. And let's make that happen on time. So when it's time to pray, we have that quickly. But we are taking a few testifiers now. There are people who have been touched by the hand of God. And I want you to listen for these testimonies. When we take testimonies like this, it is because we want to acknowledge. It's our way of saying thank you, Jesus, that we are grateful for the performance of his word in our lives. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Sorry, sir. All right. Please. Go ahead. Praise God. I've not been hearing properly on this ear for several months. And for, this for several, but during the prayers, my ears are open. I can hear completely. You are able to hear. How long for this? This has been like for two, three months now. And then? Some weeks. 
in the name of Jesus, this miracle that has happened to you remains permanent by the mighty hand of God. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. Yes, sir. Next person very quickly. Medical team, please, let's walk very quickly so that um, we can have the testifiers come very quickly. This is what Jesus is doing. For some man of God, while you are watching, you are not just watching testimonies. You are seeing what will start happening in your ministry from this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, yesterday when I returned back home, I was having an excruciating pain in my back. So, it's, I've never had that kind of pain before. And I couldn't sleep throughout the night. But when then our father, the God's servant, was ministering, he mentioned the issue of back pain. I checked myself, the, I couldn't see the pain. So as I was now, when he now said we should come out for the testimony, as I was coming out for the testimony, the pain went, uh, left me totally. Completely. To the extent that yesterday, uh, this morning while I was going to church, I could not bend down to... Bend down now. Bend down to wear my shoe. And right now, any pain? No pain. It's gone forever. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give Jesus praise. It will never return to you again. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please. Go ahead. Um, I'm short-sighted and I'm literally like sitting at the back. But You're short-sighted? Yes. How long has this been? Like since last year, late last year. Okay. But I can see clearly. Like oh. even normally before, if I was standing here, there's definitely no way I can see you. Like clearly. But if you were standing here, you would not be able to see me. Not clearly. And right now? I can see you. Clearly? Yes. How many? Five. Five. Two, one, two, five. Give Jesus praise. It will never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Praise God. I have I got an accident about three weeks past now. And when you I had an accident? Yes, three weeks past okay. now. Okay. With the, my left leg, uh, right leg. When you have mentioned that somebody with a light, uh, red leg who has a problem, they cannot move. Then I started to move. You said we should move. I started to move my What leg. couldn't you do before? So I could not move like this. My friend, look at me. Run. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Amen. And I pray that that accident, as I'm praying for him, I'm praying for someone. Amen. You have no business with accident. Amen. May my God protect you and protect your loved ones. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. It is well with you. Yes, please. Amen. So, Apostle, Mama here came actually, she said she came to this service with swollen feet. Yes. But what my, happened to you? My name is Oka Chengos. I came, with, uh, I came to service with swollen legs because I was having severe, severe pains on my waist. How so long has I that came, been? That it has started for two, three years now. I've been suffering on it. Yes. So as I came, I even I couldn't raise my knees to climb upstairs. I just, by the grace of God, I entered auditorium. So as we are praying now, every prayer is lies on me, both heart, or both chest, everything. Walk Hit now. Me. Walk now. Any pain? Come on, Koinonia. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Swollen feet. Gone. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. It will never return to you again by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I receive. Amen and amen. I yes. receive. Go ahead. Apostle, this is a lump of many testimony. You gave word of knowledge of people with severe chest pain, back pain, yes. and nail pain. All of them, about four of them, they are healed by the power of four God. Four of them. Yes. Sir. The pain is gone. I stretch my hands over you. Sorry, because of time, we're not able to give individuals. So we just group like that. I, I hope she couldn't raise her leg before. Who is that? Now. Let she me give her the mic. Praise the Lord. I came to church with severe back pain. My brother had to press my back two days ago. When he said, back pain is gone, I placed my hand there. And I just turned and discovered it was gone. And I sat down because of the new pain. And he said, you are having new pain. Stand up and it's gone. I stood up and... To the glory of God, that new pain is done. Gone I, forever. I had to tie the leg to sleep last night. It is gone. 
I can squat and Praise handle. Jesus. Let's give Jesus praise. For you and all who are in that category, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God rest upon you. You are healed now. Your healing remains permanent. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's celebrate them as they return to their seats rejoicing. Yes, please. Apostle, immediately you came in, you gave word of knowledge of those who could not use their hand. Their I'm hand, here. yes. Praise the Lord. I came in for months. I've been having pains here. This is how far I can raise my hand. But now when you were talking, I... Go ahead. Let the devil see it. That is the hand you will use to praise Jesus. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. Yes. Yes. Any destiny that has refused to rise. Because you see, miracles like this are prophetic messages. Are we together? I'm praying for you. The same God who can cause a hand who could not live to stretch. May your destiny answer on that wise. May your destiny answer on that wise. For some of you, before the last koinonia service, I'm prophesying to you, whatever has not been done from January till now, may my God do a quick walk in your life. A quick walk in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You okay. gave word of knowledge of a lady with a pain in the breast. There's no love, but she said every time she sleeps and wakes up, she finds her chest, the left side of her breast, pain in her. Yes. But now she's been healed by the power of God. Completely healed. How long has this been? For about a week now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That devil, the way it came, may it go back to hell. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, go ahead. Yes, sir. All right. Hallelujah. Uh, a month ago, a stone fell on my leg. While stone? Walking, yes, while walking the site. And someone matched the leg. So from that day, my vein started having issue. I went to the hospital, they treated it, and the vein was still having issue, as if I, I was feeling like nails under my leg. So yes. Ap Apostle made mention of the case. He said there is a guy here that uh, it's as if there are nails under your leg. What happened now? Straight to so the point. The veins are, the veins, it's as if the veins are, are rotting. So when Apostle pray over the leg, Immediately, I, I could start moving the leg. And blood started coming out from this, the, 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 the wound. Pause. So blood. So just oh, blood started blood. coming yes. out. So he couldn't move his, yes. you know, his feet before. But after the prayers, he could My move. My friend, so. move now. Are you seeing a miracle that has happened? My God. You can even see that he could not wear a cover shoe. Lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you right now. Amen. It will never return again. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Let's celebrate him. Next person, very quickly. So, Apostle, you also give a word of knowledge for someone who actually pain his arm? Yes, sir. So, yeah, I've, I came here with this pain on my hand. It's, it has been there for like three years. I've tried all the food medically. They said nothing is wrong with me. And then I've been in this pain. But then when the case was mentioned, I felt somehow like, could this be for me? I started sweating all of a sudden. I trying to move the hand. I just realized that it's like this hand is short. This one is longer than this one. Until I notice all the pain is gone. And right now, lift both of them. Again, lift both of them. Again, 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 again. In the name of Jesus Christ. This miracle remains permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please, very quickly. All right, so we have a very interesting testimony here. Yes, please. I, since the beginning of this year, I've been having chest pain. I can't hardly breathe. Most times I can't yawn, I can't shout. My chest tights in as if I want to just, I don't know, give yes. up. So when you started counting that we should shout to Jesus, you counted the first time. And when I was sitting down, I could not yawn because I was having flu. It was so bad. Then you started counting Jesus, one, two, three. I started shouting. I kept shouting, and I'm still shouting. I'm still shouting. I'm still shouting. And that, that pain is not there. Yes. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. The power of God, in the name of Jesus, right now, I sense an anointing coming on you. I declare perfection. That pain, wherever it is and whatever is the cause, it leaves you never to return again. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Next person, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. Um, I've been My having God, there's so many pain. miracles. Sometimes I feel so guilty. For three years now. Um, like, hold on just a moment. Um, please let me say this. We don't downplay testimonies in this house. Every manifestation of God's power 
is worth recognizing are we together so when we have to stop people on the way you know that a standard miracle service will take hours because it takes hours to even celebrate what god is doing hallelujah so when you see us halt sometimes i feel sad but then we have to do that so that we can regulate time i'm saying that particularly for those who have taken the courage to come and stand you are always at liberty even beyond today to register your testimony share them online we don't downplay miracles and for those of you who probably have testimonies and do not want to share whether you have some phobia or whatever it is let me tell you sharing your testimony is good for you and is good for the saints hallelujah don't keep silent the manifestations of god in your hand or in your life you allow for continuity when that happens and if you refuse to testify sometimes you open up doors for a reprisal from the enemy again this is true hallelujah yes go ahead sir i actually have chest pain for a long time now yes. so when you were praying outside like i can't scream for long like i can't shout for long so and when now, you're screaming i'm fine now, like completely feeling okay yeah i can scream in the name like of jesus i was screaming outside i was holding my chair but now but right you, now it's gone yeah, that yeah, heaviness okay returns now. back to the devil in jesus name i pray amen. amen let's celebrate god for his life next person very quickly praise the lord i was having a serious and a severe hemorrhoid pie for quite some time over about Pile. yes for about 15 years or so oh dear uh, yesterday i couldn't sleep because of the pain after I, I i i came out from the toilet and what happened now and now the pain has i'm not feeling anything completely completely I'm, I'm i'm i was i was booked for for a surgery about three times even today i was i went to the hospital they booked me for surgery again saturday to meet with the surgeon and I declined. I came to the church. I go to the medical section. I have, I've seen the doctor. I explained to him. I show him the picture. And I came into the prayer. I was at the back outside there. I was praying. And when he asked us to, to shout and jump, I came into the faith. And now the pain has disappeared. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare what the Lord has done in your life. Let it remain permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you very quickly. Yes, sir. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is almost getting to three weeks now. I have not been hearing well from this, my left ear. So when I come, I, I still believe in God that God will heal me today. So when our apostle was praying, yes. I fell under anointing up there. So you fell under, where were you? Up there, up okay. there. Okay, and what happened now? So when I, when, I, when I woke up, we started praying again. When I prayed, then I, when, when you say we should check ourselves, my neighbor was not talking to me. I started, I said, ah, what is going on? I said, sir, please, can you speak again? And when he talked, I started hearing very clearly. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Okay, Apostle, we have uh, here a case of facial palsy. It's facial palsy. Yes, sir. Please. Since, since 2019, I, I, middle of 2019, I had an experience. And after that, this left side of my face has been paralyzed since then. It's I've been, been paralyzed? Under, yes, sir. I've You've been, seen the doctor on it? Yes, sir. I've okay. been undergoing physiotherapy on and off since then. Mm -hmm. Even this year, I was undergoing physio. In fact, just when I came to church this morning, I was telling the friend I'm sitting with about the experience. And she and someone else, and she was laughing at me. And at some point, I stopped telling her about it but when i came i was actually believing god for my mom's healing so when you were praying i i felt some level of relief although i still feel the poor boys not severe place your hand there in the name of jesus i decree and declare the god of heaven who has started this miracle that facial palsy whatever it is called in jesus name you give way right now we release you and we declare perfection for this miracle in jesus name i pray let's give jesus praise for her miracle yes please so apostle we have similar case three of them um they were all healed of toothache toothache yes sir that's all right i will, I will we'll just pray huh, for time in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you and i declare perfection perfection Every cavity problem comes under arrest. It's gone never to return again in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Yes, sir. All right. Um, praise the Lord. For over five years, I've been having this new pain that whenever I bend down, it feels like there are pains inside, just like Apostle said. But just after the prayers, I knelt down with faith and I cannot feel it again. It's gone. Completely. Yes, it is gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take two or three more people quickly there. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Since like two months, anytime I do a little walk or I did a little a little walk or a little trek, I will be having a pain on my knee. So to, even today, I, I, I started to I, I started feeling the pain. But when I first started declaring, the pain was gone. Absolutely Completely. Gone. You see, once you see repeated cases of certain miracles, there is a message that is connected there. That means every stagnation and everything that has incapacitated your movement. The same way God is healing limbs and healing knees, I decree and declare prophetically, go forward. I'm saying it to someone who is serious. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In one week, may you take the leap of one year. In one week, may you take the leap of one year. Yes, please. Please sit down. Right, yes, sir. So they've all been healed of their kneecaps. They all had pain. You had a problem with your kneecap? Yeah, praise the Lord. Like over two months ago, I strained my knee. I fell into a dish when I was coming back from church. And since that time, I cannot stretch the leg. Or if I sit for a while, I, can't, I have to massage the leg before I move again. And now? Now I can stretch the leg. In the name of Jesus. It will never, never return. I lay my hands upon you and I declare healing. Amen. Let's have two or three here. Severe pain in the eye. He had to even get an eyeglass. So when he came in, he removed the eyeglass. Immediately you climb around. He said yes. for over one hour now. He says For over one hour. It's been normal. Yes, sir. How long has this been? It's more than a year now. In the name of Jesus. As it's happened spiritually and physically, may your vision be cleared. Amen. In Jesus' name, congratulations. Next person. Apostle, she wrote some prayer points, and immediately you came up, it's like you were just reciting what she wrote down. Number one prayer point that she, she wrote here that God should visit her nation, and she's a Cameroonian. And then you mentioned serpentine spirit and also spirit of death. She said she has been seeing her sister dying in the dream. So when fighting snakes, also in the dream, but when you ministered, God visited her. In the name of Jesus, my dear. The Lord perfects you, perfects your family. In Jesus' name, I pray. God Severe pain in the ears, gone. Do you know, I prayed for somebody who was slapped in the dream and he woke up physically with that side of the ear, death, completely. Say witchcraft. From the dream, not physically. And he, he woke up with it physically. That's to tell you how real the realm of the spirit is. I'm praying for someone. I don't know what started from the realm of the spirit. That you are struggling to fight physically. The same way it started from the realm of the spirit. We end it from the realm of the spirit. I say it again. The same way it started from the realm of the spirit. We end it in the realm of the spirit. My sister, I decree and declare you are perfected right now. In Jesus' name. Let's have one last Pain testimony. Pain in her there. right hand. Now she could wave yes. the hand now. Right hand and her back. I have this pain from my back. Yes. So I literally feel the pains through my veins. Yes. But right now when you came and said um, right hand, pains and all that. So it's completely gone. Gone. In I the name of Jesus, anymore. it will never return to you again. Amen. Let's have two or three people. And then please let me request by next week while we are testifying... If possible, let's give priority to one or two of these people because they have labored. It, it takes a lot of courage to come and stand. And since they have stood for sake of time, we may not be able to take all of them. But please be, our, and, and, um, please be at liberty, my dear people. For those of you who may not be able to testify, be very comfortable to register your testimony with the media and the public relations department so that we allow you among those who testify here. We want to know what Jesus has done. Unfortunately, we have to work with time, but please, I want you to feel free, be very courageous to come and testify. But let's see. Apostles, there are several testimonies online on those which issue of online. breast cases. Yes, 
from Canada, Kenya. Online in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. We are agreeing right from here that for everyone, maybe you read one as a witness and then we'll pray for the rest. Yes, all right. sir. Apostle, we have a strategic one from Ruth all the way from Kenya. Ruth from she, Kenya. She received healing from her left breast and she had an encounter with God mightily as you prophesied. And then we have so many testimonies of healing of kneecaps and several breast pain related issues all the way from Cameroon as you prophesied. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare we use Ruth as a point of contact to all our global family, those who have been healed online, we decree and declare, just like we said, distance is no barrier. Your miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, sir, let every man abide in his calling. I will call the doctor. To, to do, okay, so you go ahead. Okay. Apostle, she came into the service with severe breast pain. Though she had breast lumps in her two breasts four years ago yes and she had lumpectomy done but after the surgery the lumps came back to the two breasts so she has been battling with this situation but when you gave the word of prophecy she yes. believed and then she felt something left her no more pain we've palpated that there is no single trace of lumps she's completely are you giving jesus praise no single trace father we decree and declare you see, that is a prophetic message about productivity in the name of Jesus. Amen. The restoration God has brought for you, my dear, it remains permanent. And I'm praying for someone, you may not have a physical problem, but whatever is affecting the factors that are responsible for your productivity, in Jesus' name, we release you right now to be productive. We release you right now to be productive. God bless you, my dear. Congratulations. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Yes, please. Since on Friday, I couldn't urinate. You couldn't urinate? I couldn't go to the toilet. I couldn't sleep. My stomach was bloated. They told me to take just teeth, to take just corn, to take cucumber. I took everything I could take. There was nothing working. But after you prophesied upon sickness of all sorts of names, I could urinate and I saw a drop of blood when I went to the toilet. Just a drop. It's not menses, but just a drop and it stopped. In the name of Jesus, we declare this perfection in your body, it remains forever. Amen. We release you right now Amen. in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus for her. Can we have two more testimonies? I've had poil for years. It's been very difficult using the toilet. And then sometimes the growth is just so, so painful. And then when you mentioned it, I just went back and I tried and I've searched and I, I couldn't find it again. And the pain... The pain is gone. gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. And I'm also thanking God because I know when you mentioned glaucoma, I know that my mom is healed and I know she'll come and take Where is she? She's here in Abuja. But we agree for her in the name of Jesus that the God who has healed you from pile, may he heal your mom from every eye condition Amen. in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, please. Praise God, Koenonia. I want to thank God for healing. When, we, when Daddy was in the way, Daddy was declared about uh, people that they cannot feel rest their hand. So, and I rest my, say, we should, we should rest our hand. I rest my hand. When we are in the prayer t uh, department this evening, I cannot rest this, my here, from here, and this year, I cannot rest. So, when, when you declare, everything has gone. I follow that anointing. Everything has gone. Completely. Can, yes, in the name of Jesus, Amen. it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes. Okay, sir. With your permission. Go ahead. Bendy, these are testimonies from those following online. Um, this is from Sister Sheon Fumi. She says, while you were ministering, you prophesied about somebody who could not lie down on her side because there was always pain on the breast and there was lump. I immediately lied down on my left side and no pain on my breast again. Amen. Another... That's all right, Kenny. We have to take a break on that. We've already prayed for online people. Now, for all of you who are here standing, in the name of Jesus, just make contact with your chest. Let me speak to you, all of you who are here. And then, if there are many others outside who were not allowed in, our apologies. Do well to register your testimony. I stretch my hands over all of you who have been healed. 
in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, these miracles remain permanent. And for those who have been healed online, sadly, and could not testify, in the name of Jesus, I declare as I'm praying for them, I pray for those who are standing and all who are at the medical stand, maybe verifying their cases. In Jesus' name, your healings remain permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's celebrate them as they return to their seats. Now, may I request all of us, can we stand and stretch our hands to the front here where our request? Is there anyone yet to submit his or her request? Let me see your hands. If you're yet to submit your request, please, a PR ushers, let's make that quickly. Those outside, I'm hoping that their requests are here too. Those online, if you've sent in your request, connect by faith, believing. And in case you, you, you couldn't send it, don't worry right where you are. Just believe by faith. Stretch your hands, please. This is not a ritual. Don't get too familiar. This is the power of God at work. Someone is declaring, every Egyptian that I see today, I see no more forever. Are you praying? Take a minute or two. Go ahead and speak. Speak by faith. Declare by faith that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Go ahead, bring them. We ask people to bring their prayer requests like this because we believe in the God that heals. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Someone pray, declare by the Spirit of God. Mante pratica baracos catafredegebeleketa. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Sabrate caparaca toscades. Embre teke paras. Stanabalata casha pratega baraca tosa de belish. Ebre catebecate prandega baraco sata fredega de beleketa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I decree and declare, I'm going to pray and then I will request, I mean, thankfully he just came. I just sensed in my heart to do it. Now I'm going to ask um, Reverend Rao Wafo when I'm praying, he's going to pray in French and just prophesy to all the French speaking nations that are connected to us. Hallelujah. We are standing in faith. I just want him to speak and make that prophetic declaration. Um, I'll be with them in Cote d'Ivoire, I think next month, and it's going to be an awesome time. So all of you who are within those, those areas, make sure you connect, and um, it's going to be an awesome time. I was very humbled last when I was there that in a nation that some of them literally don't speak English, but they've been able to learn all kinds of songs in English and every other language, I mean, some, some of them sing Koinonia songs better than you. And um, uh, it's amazing how you are able to preach. And some of them honestly do not understand you, but thanks to the interpreter, and it was such a glorious time. It was such an outpouring. And I believe that God is doing something, not just in East Africa, but I mean, sweeping across the French-speaking nations. And we know that revival is for them too. Hallelujah. So stretch your hands as I speak over and then I invite him to just come and make these declarations. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Father, you have anointed and instructed us, given us grace to speak and declare over these requests. I declare that every request here written, let it be turned to your testimony. Shout a louder amen. Shout a believing amen. The same way you are shouting now, that is how you will shout in shock at the miracle that God will perform in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm prophesying to someone in the name of Jesus that as a sign that God has visited you before you reach home, between now and the end of this service and the time you reach home, may my God do something among your list that will surprise you. And therefore I pray over every one of these requests in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, these requests are declared. I declare that they are turned to your testimony. I declare that they are turned to your testimony. 
every human agent who must come under divine alignment to make this happen in the name of Jesus I'm praying that the Lord will send them the Lord will put your issue in their heart and it will cause them to respond favorably in the name of Jesus Christ and as always I stand upon this request prophetically and I declare that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ please let's welcome Reverend Raul and whether you can speak French or not if you cannot speak French connect by faith they've been connecting for us by faith now is your turn and then if you understand French shout amen on our behalf while he's speaking our little children will all shout amen that's why you see they've all learned French but a lot of elderly people and adults here sorry for you your generation has passed and um, yes sir please go ahead par au nom suprême de Jésus, je veux te rendre grâce pour toutes les nations francophones. Merci pour ce canal de foi et la parole relâchée sur cet hôtel qui a un impact sur toutes les nations francophones et sur tous les peuples au nom suprême de Jésus. De la France à la Belgique, au Cameroun, au Togo, au Bénin, au Tchad, au Burkina Faso, au Sénégal, au Mali, En Guinée équatoriale, je décrète, déclare, établi la manifestation de tes pouvoirs souverains. Merci pour ton action surnaturelle. Les divers miracles s'accomplissent par le nom suprême de Jésus. Nous voulons te rendre grâce pour ta parole. Au oh, Jésus qui continue de grandir et prévaloir. Merci pour ce ministère qui impacte encore davantage la nation francophone. Pour ta gloire, afin que Jésus soit célébré et glorifié. Merci pour les guérisons, la délivrance, la restauration, les rétablissements, la manifestation de ton règne. Au nom suprême de Jésus, quelqu'un dise Amen trois fois. Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen. Let's give me a big hand clap. Amen. Are you ready to receive my own? Whether you can't speak English, whether you can't speak French, some of you I'm speaking to you, sometimes I'm speaking to spirits. In any case, there must be a hearing. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has been closed over your life, I decree now that door is hereby opened. 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 Number two, everyone here trusting God for a job. May the God that settles men between now and next miracle service, may God settle you gloriously. Settle you gloriously in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I'm praying everyone who has been incapacitated economically something has brought you down financially may the god of all grace the one who empowers men to prosper may he empower you tonight in jesus name everyone holding what belongs to you i prophesy in jesus name by the force of faith may it return to you by the force of faith, may it return to you. I don't know where the helper of your destiny is, but in the name of Jesus, some of you, maybe your helper is even here in Koinonia as I'm speaking. In the name of Jesus, I connect them to you. And I connect you to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a season where God is beautifying the destinies of the saints. And I pray for someone here, every embargo of shame and reproach that is making men ask you where your God is, from tonight, may your results begin to answer. From tonight, may your results begin to answer. If the mark of death is on anyone here, whether by flight, whether by accident, whether by kidnappers, assassins, it doesn't matter in what form or fashion. I'm praying by the power of the Holy Spirit, minus you. Minus you for death. Minus you for tragedy. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
oh by the way i just remembered i think someone had sent me a mail i i returned from a trip and i read the mail students of university of abuja you know was requesting for you know if they can be assisted maybe some bus service for them i just want you to know that i read that mail and we'll see what we can do about it eh? i needed to say this yes i just i just remember that someone i can't remember the name but the person made that that um these people are students and and it's only fair that we see what we're able to do and and if the person is here thank you for your advocacy on behalf of the other people we'll see what we're able to do hallelujah i sense in my spirit to speak prophetically over any of your loved one who is on their way to hell because they have not received jesus wherever they are whether your father your mother like promise said well he was leading us to pray if there is any of your loved one who has refused maybe idol worship or whatever and they have refused that they will not make it right with god may the god of salvation visit them we schedule encounters for them in the name of jesus three more prayers and i want you to receive i want you to lift your hands i'm praying for you every anointing that must rest on your hand and cause you to go forward and to advance before the end of this year as you are lifting those hands i place that grace upon your hand i place that grace upon your hand i place that grace upon your hand go and succeed with the works of your hands in the name of jesus finally i don't know who has lost anything in your life you've lost relationships you've lost opportunities you've lost money you've lost maybe doors whatever it is you've lost various parts of your body i'm praying for you right now in the name that is above all names may the god who restores who can restore years and can restore things may my god restore you may my god restore you may my god restore you in the name of Jesus Christ it will be clear from your life that it pays to serve Jesus I say it again it will be clear from your life oh that it pays to serve Jesus it will be clear from your life that it pays to love Jesus that it pays to live for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ and finally we pray for our nation I don't know how God will do it all Nigeria we may not see wind we may not see rain but we call upon the God of all mercy may he step in mightily visit our economy strengthen the government strengthen the members of Senate by all means may Nigeria move forward and I led my voice with the law enforcement agents to decree and declare those who have enjoyed crime as an industry whether as kidnapping whether as uh, um, one chance whether as whatever we call it this week may this be the week of vengeance agree with me this week may this be the week of vengeance i don't destroy you but if some of these people don't repent, may they sleep and not wake up. In the name of Jesus Christ. And because you have come here tonight, the souvenir that God has prepared for you, you carry it by faith on your way home. You carry it by faith on your way home. You carry it by faith on your way home. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you to run to Jesus right now if you are yet to make him Lord of your life our time is fast spent you are here right now I'm giving you just one minute you are saying apostle I do not want to return back home without making a first-time decision for someone or for another person you are saying I need to renew and rededicate my relationship in the name of Jesus it matters that we are concerned about your spiritual growth and you're encountering the Savior wherever you are 
in one minute I'm going to ask you to leave your seat and run come and stand here you have seen the power of God you've seen what God can do let's celebrate them as they come rise up right from where you are and make your way to the front Jesus is calling you koinonia celebrate them thank you for coming you can pick your bags your Bibles everything you came to church with is this the best you can do koinonia let's celebrate salvation come come all the overflows please make your way to your stand and those who are here you are making Jesus Lord of your life this call is for those who are coming to Jesus you want Jesus to be your Lord and Savior from tonight you are saying I'm tired of my way of living I'm tired of my life I want a chance to make it right with Jesus God bless you please come please come please come Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done. Come. God bless you. If you're coming, come quickly. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory great things he has done Hallelujah um, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you who have made this decision it is a noble decision to come to Jesus I want you to lay your hand on your chest as a sign of surrender say this after me as loud and as clear as you can say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I believe that you are the Son of God I believe that you died for my sin right now I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord and you are my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i declare that i'm a child of god let me pray for you father thank you for these blessed people they have come to you the king of kings and the lord of lords making declarations of faith in total surrender i pray based on the authority of god's word that your sins indeed are forgiven and the power to live a victorious christian life is released upon you from tonight you walk out of this place the righteousness of god going forward ever and backward never i decree and declare receive grace to live the victorious christian life in jesus name i pray amen now please i want you to follow the counselors they are waving the placard all of you in concert they will have a word with you just for a few minutes and then you'll be back let's celebrate them as they go thank you thank you